Craig here. In this video I'm going to be making a press die, or like, similar to like a press break, but it's actually a die. It'll actually bend multiple bends in one shot. Right? Okay, well as you can see here, this is what it's going to look like when it's all done. I'm actually going to be starting off with just the lower portion, this uh, base plate right here. Alright, I've got the uh, one inch plate steel. Mounted on here, I've got a couple pieces of sacrificial uh, steel under here, and got the clamps. I haven't tightened them down yet, but uh, I've uh, got the dowel test indicator. Um, just have to uh, tram the the edge, front edge of this, and then I will uh, set my zeros on this corner. Uh, there aren't going to be a whole lot of uh, I'm not going to be doing a real aggressive cutting on this, so I'm just going to use uh, clamps on uh, uh, either corner. So uh. okay, well I got it trimmed within about a half a within about a thou. I mean, for what I'm doing here, uh, if this thing was ten thou or twenty thou out of out of line, it probably really wouldn't matter. But you know, I'll get it within a thou. I got my uh, clamps all tightened up here, and. About ready to start machining. Okay, now I'm going to set my zeros on the base plate. Let's start with X and Y. Okay, my Z's, my zeros are all set. Okay, I ran my dial test indicator over here, and uh, I'm not even a thou, less than a thou out from, uh, from here to here. Okay, I double checked the Y just to be safe. Um, from here to about here, where the press is actually going to be sitting, um, I'm maybe uh, one or two thou off, which should be fine for the press. Right. Okay, I'm going to be doing actually doing two different uh, pockets. One is going to be a larger pocket for the nut to go on the bottom side and another pocket right there for the actual uh, rod to go through. Um, I actually have this, uh, this is the bottom side. I set the uh, work coordinates on the, the bottom side here. Okay, this is going to be really conservative. I don't want to ruin this plate. Uh, they're not cheap. Let's see, 30 inches a minute. Uh, it's only a 15 thou depth of cut. Uh, 3,500 RPM, uh, 3 eighths, 4 flute, carbide, and mill. Okay, well that went pretty smoothly. Uh, by the way, this is um, cold rolled, um, mild steel. I've got a long four flute, th uh, quarter inch carbide end mill in here now. Uh, I'm going to take lighter depths of cut. I'm just going 10 thou uh, because of the length of the end mill. I could probably do more, but um, I don't want to push it. So uh, This is going to do the holes where the bolts are going to pass through. This bolt right here will pass through. This is the underside where the nut will be. Uh, this 
hole is big enough to be able to get a socket in to be able to tighten up the nuts. Okay, this will be at 5,000 RPM at 30 inches a minute. Okay, well it was a little hard to show the machining of those deep holes uh, so far down in there. Uh, plus I had a lot of squeaking. I didn't really resolve that. I just sped it up so the squeaking was shorter. Okay, as you can see the the rods just get inserted like that. I just have to put some nuts on the uh, bottom side there. And the next part is to do the the, the bottom of the die. This will go slide over. I have to make holes in here. I've got to do a counter bore for a spring that's going to set down inside there. This will slide over. Hmm. Okay, I'm about ready to do the, uh, the lower portion, the lower die for the press. The, uh, oh, there we go. Okay, this is gonna take a little while. I was gonna lay it sideways and do it on the other side, but I decided to go this route because of this um, piece right here. Uh, uh, that piece right there is actually a stop for the brackets. Okay, I got my uh, regular vise mounted on the mill. I've got the raw stock placed in the mill. I've already checked for level and I'm within about a thou, so I'm good there. I'm just going to set my zeros on this corner right here. Okay, I got the code all loaded up. This is probably going to take a little while, so I'll probably just check back every once in a while. Um, I'll uh, start it up here. Okay, well the roughing is all done. Uh, I still have to do the uh, the holes and the counter bores. Uh, normally at this point you would uh, do like a finishing pass with a ball nose end mill, but this is just for bending brackets. So um, I, I filed it down a little bit uh, so it's not too rough, but I'm just going to leave it just like that. Okay, I'm ready to start making the, uh, the counter bores.
Okay, well there it is. <clears throat> this part of the uh, die is all done. Hard to see it from this side because there's more light in the back side, but okay. I'm re getting ready to do the uh, the top piece of the die. Uh, I was just checking for a level across here. We're the same height from here to here. Um, uh, there's a little dip in the middle, but that doesn't matter because I'm actually originally I was going to go three, but this is just too thick. I think it's just too much to try and bore through so I'm actually gonna cut this down to two and a half so <laughs> Okay, well the machining for the uh, center part is all done. Uh, this is the part that will, uh, the opposite for the, uh, the die for this top part right here. So I'm going to clean that up a little bit and uh, then I'm going to bore the holes. Okay, well, I was having trouble uh, boring through all the way from the other side uh, with the quarter inch. It just it's just too small. I should have gotten a. Uh, I don't have a a long three eighths end mill, so I ended up having to flip it over. Uh, it didn't line up perfectly. I maybe a few fell off. Uh, this one seems to go through okay, so that one's fine there. This one seems to be hitting a little bit. So I'm going to have to, uh, I may just take the quarter inch end mill and try to clean it up in there. Uh, the hole doesn't have to be absolutely perfect. Um, I mean it needs to be straight up and down, but it should be okay. I just need to uh, uh, open that up a little bit. Okay, now I'm going to machine a hole uh, slightly larger than the ram on the press here just to make sure that the press die or press brake is centered directly on here. To do is to uh, there it is. All that's left to do is to uh, fix this one hole. Okay, it's all finished machining. I uh, made sure that that went all the way through. Um, about time to uh, see if it fits here. There it goes. This has a nut on the bottom, but I can only find one nut, so it's loose over here, but I didn't uh, cut off these ends, so it's perfectly uh, flush all the way down. Uh, this is just a uh, for the just for a press, so 
Um, the uh, I ordered springs to go on these pockets here, but uh, I ordered the wrong size, so, so basically this will set up like this on the springs. Basically, you stick a piece in there like that, push down on that there, and uh, the press will uh, push that and bend that, so I will uh, put it on the press and see if it works. Okay, I have uh, like a temporary bolt. It's actually a 3 8 anchor, a threaded anchor on the bottom of this, so this um, won't move so all right I've got the ram in there and it's all ready to go Okay, normally I'd just be able to pull this out, but since there's no springs here, there it is. One shot bend. Alright, well, if you like this video, I'd appreciate the thumbs up. Uh, feel free to leave any comments. Oh, turn that off. Feel free to leave any uh, comments down below. And uh, I've got a big subscribe button over here if you'd like to subscribe. I've got some other videos down below if you'd like to see some other videos. And uh, that's it. Alright.